Today on MTG Unpacked, we're doing something a little bit different and out of the ordinary. So we're taking a look at a Keyforge deck today. So this is the new deck game that Richard Garfield came up with. Uh, he was the original creator of Magic the Gathering. So I thought I would check this out. There's been an awful lot of hype about this. Uh, talked to people at the local game store, they said these things are flying off the shelves. They actually wish they had ordered a lot more of the starter set. Uh, so there were none of those available when I went to visit them this evening. So, let's see what we've got here. Keyforge, Call of the Archons, or Archons, I don't know, how do you pronounce that? It's all very mysterious to me, so this contains one unique 37 card Archon deck. So that is the selling point of this. Uh, you pay, I think it was like 8 bucks for these, and although retail is probably closer to 10. And you get a ready playable deck. Everything is unique. So what does this say? Enter a world where anything is possible. Take command of a one-of-a-kind Archon deck and race against your friends to open one of the Crucible's hidden vaults. Rules available online at keyforgegame.com. Okay, so let's crack this open. And I actually have a couple of others we'll be taking a look at in the coming weeks. And I'm hoping to visit my local game store in the next week or two to actually learn how to play this. Because I have been watching a ton of videos. There's nothing else in the box but the deck. And let's see what we've got here. So we have a bit of a deck list. This is called Overpowering Kizzy Awai. So they have unique names, unique combinations of cards. Sounds like some pretty crazy card names here. And I'm covering the QR code down here because apparently you can enter that into an app and register the deck. So that's the thing. So let's take a look here on the back. We have a unique design. And if I'm not mistaken, we have Mars Brog Brogna, Brogna, not sure. And no idea what that is. So as you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think it's fantastic. So let's get stuck into this. You'll be exploring along with me because I have no idea either. Okay, here we go. This is what I needed. So, we have Mars, Brobna, and Untamed. And I think these artworks are unique as well. So, a lot of this is algorithmically generated. It's a pretty crazy concept. But let's get started here see what we have and the you'll notice the card design is very different than magic so we have this ember here the whole concept is about unlocking these um, keys for I think you have three keys you need to get six slots of amber to un unlock those and then down here we have a I guess that's artist name yep and Card number and rarity symbol is there, apparently. And then the name of the deck. So you can't actually... This is the only deck in existence with this name. Which, I don't know that it's that fantastic, but... Um, every deck is unique. And supposedly they've got a way of balancing these things with this concept called chains. Not that familiar with how it works, but let's go through the cards. So we have Way of the Wolf. So this is an upgrade. This creature gains skirmish, and when you use this creature to fight, it is dealt no damage in return. Alrighty, so that was untamed. Alright. Okay, so I guess they're doing untamed in order. And now we have a hunting witch creature, so that two there is the strength or whatever their equivalent is there's no actual power and toughness and i think this is like a shield so the damage they can take is two and they can dish out two damage as well 
Leave a note in the comments if I get anything horribly wrong here because I have never played this game before. I'm just cracking a deck open. Hopefully I'll get to play this in the next week or two at my LGS. Learn how to actually play it. So this one is a human witch. Each time you play another creature, gain one amber. Alrighty. Moving right along, we have a Niffle Ape. Now, does anyone know if these names are generated? Do they have like a, a creature type and then a subtype? So like a Niffle Ape or a different type of ape? Leave a note in the comments if you're familiar with that. So he's a beast, Niffle. While Niffle Ape is attacking, ignore Taunt and Elusive. Sounds interesting. Next up we have a giant sloth creature beast. So he has six, uh, whatever it is, strength. You cannot use this card unless you have discarded an untamed card from your hand this turn. And an action you can gain three amber. <laughs> Fuzzy Gruen. So we have another creature beast here with the five toughness. It looks like you get two amber there. That's pretty cool. Play, your opponent gains one amber. So I'm assuming when this guy hits the board, you get two, your opponent gets one. Okay, Flaxia, creature fairy. Gain two amber if you control more creatures than your opponent. So if you can get a ton of extra creatures down, that seems like it'd be good. Vigor, action, so play, you can heal up to three damage from a creature. If you healed three damage, gain one amber. So as far as I understand it, the damage doesn't heal. So when you reach zero, that's it. The creature goes to the discard pile, which is similar to the graveyard in Magic. Troop Call, what are these? Monkey looking things, action. Play, return each friendly Niffle creature from your discard pile and from play to your hand. Ah, so you can actually get stuff back from discard. It's pretty cool. Regrowth, this is an action card. Play, return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, so we're getting a couple of things to bounce things back to our hand. Nocturnal Maneuver, an action Play, exhaust up to three creatures. We get one amber there as well. And exhausting, I think, is similar to the, um, uh, what do you call it? No, I so I think exhaust is similar to summoning sickness in magic. So if you did not have something that was exhausted, it's ready to play or attack right away. Alrighty. Oh, we get two of those, and you also get one amber. And I haven't been paying attention. Do we have... Yeah, we did actually have a rare. This fuzzy Gruen was a rare. You can see this star down there. Alrighty. Next up we have Key Charge. So this is an action play. Lose one amber. If you do, you may forge a key at current cost. What? So you can forge it? How does that work? Seems pretty cool. Alright, so we're moving on to another house. We have Mars. The Yixilix Dominator. Creature robot has taunt and nine. Strength one shielding. So taunt. This creature's neighbors cannot be attacked unless they have taunt. And Yixlix Dominator enters play stunned. Okay, so we have... Oh, so maybe... Uh, I'm probably mixing things up. So exhausting. Uh, maybe different here. Stun is, I think, similar to summoning sickness. So this is very, very interesting. So we have Yixlix Dominator. We get two of those guys. Yixili Marauder. So he has two creature Martian soldier and he gets one plus one power for each amber on it and you can capture one amber for each friendly ready Mars creature. 
Oh, we get a couple of those guys. <laughs> this artwork's pretty crazy. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Unstable in Magic. So we have Mind Warper. Creature Martian Scientist has Elusive. So the first time this creature is attacked each turn, no damage is dealt. And action, choose an enemy creature. It captures one amber from its own side. Oh, we get two of those guys. John Smith. Creature, Agent Martian, elusive, first time this creature is attacked each turn, no damage is dealt, has fight, reap, ready and on Agent Mars creature. Mother Gun, what on earth? So that we now have this concept of weapons. Action, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand, deal damage to a creature equal to the number of Mars cards revealed this way. Total Recall, so this is an action, you get an Amber, and this is a rare, you can see from the start there. Uh, play for each friendly ready creature, gain one Amber, return each friendly creature to your hand. Orbital Bombardment, so action, play, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand for each card revealed this way, deal two damage to a creature. You may choose a different creature each time, you get one Amber for that one. Mother ship support. What is this? A Mount Rushmore type thing? Very weird. So action play for each friendly ready Mars creature deal two damage to a creature. And you get one amber for that. Ammonia clouds. So one thing I'm noticing here, I've seen this in other videos as well, I think it's a science fiction type theme. So that's very different artwork from Magic. Not sure if I'm really that fond of it yet, but it's definitely unique. So, Ammonia Clouds, what have we got here? Action, deal 3 damage to each creature. Now we move on to Brobna. So this is a War Drummer Creature Goblin. Play, return each other friendly Brobna creature to your hand. Troll. Troll heals 3 damage and he is pretty strong. 8. Holy moly. Crump. This is a creature giant. After an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Crump its controller loses 1 amber. Bumpsy. Creature giant. Your opponent loses 1 amber. Has 5. Okay, so we got two of these guys. Oh, three of these guys. Does anyone know what the limit is? Is it four or more? Maybe there is no limit. That'd be pretty crazy. Screech Bomb. So this is an artifact. Weapon has Omni. Sacrifice Screech Bomb. Your opponent loses two Amber. Gauntlet of Command. Got an artifact here. Item, action, ready, and fight with a friendly creature. And I think the diamond down here indicates an uncommon, so not quite as frequent as these other commons. So you get an amber for sound the horns, action. Play discard cards from the top of your deck until you either discard a Brobnar creature or run out of cards. If you discarded a Brobnar creature this way, put it into your hand. It's pretty crazy artwork. Coward's End. Play, destroy each undamaged creature, gain three chains. Okay, so we've got that concept of chains coming into play here. Blood Money. Action. Play, place two amber from the common supply on an enemy creature. And yeah, I think this is the last one. So, barehanded action. So you get an amber for that, and this is a rare play. Put each artifact on top of its owner's deck. All right, so that is overpowering. <laughs> Chandra's overwhelmed. Overpowering, she's overpowered. Overpowering Kizzy Awai. Very cool. So looking forward to testing this out at the LGS, learning about things learning about Keyforge. I think it's blindingly obvious that I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I'm very excited to learn about this new game, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button 
for some Keyforge deck unboxings as well as the usual Magic the Gathering unboxings and tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.